Today we're going to troubleshoot this gaming PC which is giving me some problems on the screen with fuzzy and uh, vertical lines. So we're going to have a look at what we can potentially troubleshoot. <laughs> Hey Tags, welcome. This is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. As you can see, there are a lot of, uh, you know, problems on the screen. Now, and now to Vertical Alliance is trying to boot up into Windows. So first of all, I do want to apologize about the rough background and setting. I'm doing this, you know, live troubleshoot for you guys. I uh, haven't really tested this before. This gaming PC has got an FX6300 an AMD R7850, 3GB DDR5 and 8GB of RAM, Windows 10, one SSD and one main hard drive. It's a older gaming PC which was going to feature in my next video which I asked some of you guys about on the community tab. So this costs uh, generally about £200. It was bought used, part upgraded with used components. Anyway, it lasted a good two years. Um, but now like you can see is giving me those fuzzy stuff so this is in line with the troubleshoot series i've done and uh, i just want to tell you guys if this happens don't panic now logically i am almost positive that the problem is the graphics card uh, how do we know this well because of these kind of lines and also this pc was connected to a different monitor and it was doing the same thing so i've swapped the monitor i've brought it down to this uh, little you know workshop just to troubleshoot now the problem at this stage is the hard disk you might think it's the hard disk and that's because it was shut down wrongly okay now there could be a problem with the hard disk there could be a problem with software inside this is why it's asking me to uh, restart or you know go to the advanced option i'm not going to do this just yet what i'm going to do is swap this graphics card with a Known working graphics card. This is very um, small one. This is a HD 6670, one gigabyte DDR5. I just want to test. And the good thing is with this one, it's not powered externally. It's going to be powered from the PCI slot. So we're going to insert that. And if it gets rid of the uh, fuzzy stuff on the screen, at least we'll know it was the graphics card. Okay. So see you in a minute. Okay. What I'm going to do at this stage, I'm going to switch off the mains from the back, right? I also want to disconnect the hard drive. So I'm just going to disconnect from the um, from the SATA slots on the motherboard because all I want to do is to see if I can troubleshoot the graphics component only. Now, this is currently connected with a DVI port, not HDMI because this monitor on it has a VGA. So I've got a, an adapter here, DVI to VGA, but it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove this graphics card and if it is the graphics card I will not bother repairing that so we'll remove the two screws and there was a tab holding it but this one is kind of broken inside so we're gonna put that on the side we're gonna stick this bad boy in there And we are going to connect it again. Doesn't need external power. I'm not going to put the hard drive SATA ports back yet. I just want to see if this resolves the screen problem. Now, let's put this on. And uh, let's pay attention to the screen. Beep. And it looks like at least it's booted up without any issues on the screen so I think it was definitely the graphics card okay now the reason we're not booting up is because I disconnected the hard drive so the second thing I'm going to do actually before I do this I'm going to try and go into um, let me restart this because I want to enter BIOS if I manage to enter BIOS and there's no issues it's a good sign Right, I mean, it looks like the screen doesn't look fuzzy to me now, so I think we might be okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch off from the back and I'm going to insert the SATA ports back on for the drives. We're going to try and boot up. It may ask us to restart and that shouldn't be an issue. One beep. 
and no fuzzy lines. Should be able to boot up into Windows. Okay, now I think what I forgot to do is to reorder the boot drive. So I'm going to go into BIOS and do that. Right, I'm going to go and uh, change the boot menu. Hard disk priority first. It's a King Dian, it's the SSD. I'm going to save that. And hopefully that should work now. We may still need to restart and enter setup. All right, at least the two vertical lines have gone. It may ask me to do automatic repair. That's not a major issue. Oh, there you go. We've booted up. I mean, it wasn't even a problem. Let me just put my password. There we have it. Obviously, the configuration, the resolution needs to be set again to 1920 by 1080. But the fuzzy has gone, which definitely means that this graphics card is problematic. I bought this for £65 off eBay about two years ago, I think over two years. And £65 has lasted me a good uh, two years and the kids have been playing on it. Uh, it was a decent gaming PC, entry level 1080p, even reaching to 60 FPS on some games. So it's not bad. Will I even bother trying to repair this? Probably not. So I'll see if I'm going to find someone to get repaired or I'll have a crack myself, but I may put this up for sale for parts or repairs. Okay. So guys, I hope this was a quick tutorial or just to show that if you do have, you know, an issue with your gaming PC and if it's a display thing, so the things to consider would be obviously connect a different monitor to make sure it's not the display causing problems the other thing to do to check your cables you no know, connect to a different cable get a different cable that is actually working to test for that there could also potentially be an issue with the power supply so things like doing a hard reset uh, disconnecting the power supply and in putting one in that you know works and uh, there could be various other issues but with time if you learn to troubleshoot and recognize the signs and symptoms i was almost positive it was going to be the graphics and indeed it is the graphics card now you can further test this by taking this and sticking it into a different system and it probably will do the same thing okay now uh, i hope this was helpful and uh, if you want to have more details on these kind of troubleshoots i have a troubleshoot series i'll put the link in the description and there is a order of uh, turning on a computer and if you know which part is causing the issue it's easier for you to go to that part and swap that with a known working one to know what's causing the problem all of these type of devices essentially have the following 10 components in common number one they have an external case of some sort number two they have power and in this case coming through the power supply number three there's a motherboard or logic board as we call in some devices Number four, there is a processor and in here it's hiding underneath this cooler or we also call it a CPU. Number five, there is RAM or memory. Number six, there's usually a video card like a graphics card. This is a discrete one or it can also be a video chip which is either embedded on the motherboard or in an APU, the accelerated processing unit from AMD. In that case, there will be something of a video chip also on the processor. Number seven, there are various cables and uh, connectors that connects all the parts together. Number eight, you usually have a monitor or a screen of some sort to be able to see what you're doing. Number nine, there is usually a storage device. It could be a traditional hard disk drive like this one or a flash based drive like an SSD. And number 10, there will be some sort of operating system like Windows, Mac or Linux. Anyway guys, so hopefully that was helpful. Now this gaming PC, doesn't have a graphics card right now what i'm going to do this is the next gaming pc which i want to talk about and i'm going to find a used graphics card and uh, we're going to do a video on it and uh, maybe give you an option at this stage whether if you want to buy or build yourself a gaming pc would you still want to do a 1080p gaming pc at this stage given that generation 2 of ryzen is either already been released or about to be released i don't remember the dates 
so hopefully stay tuned for that next one and thank you so much for watching you know what to do down below comment like subscribe and share this vid thank you so much for watching this was ash from in my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out Thank <laughs> you.